Let's work a problem of a projectile that is launched at an angle. So you can see I've got an angle of 30. So let's put that, I'm gonna put that up here. My angle is 30 degrees. And I have an initial speed, that's right here, of 15. So let's, that's my initial velocity. And that is 15 meters per second. So the first thing I wanna do is let me just kind of draw a path here. Don't know if that's the actual path or not, but let's let's draw that. But the first thing I want to do, if that's 15, uh, I need my x and my y velocity. So I'm gonna move that up here. So let's say that's 15. My degree, my angle is 30. So I need my x velocity and I need my y velocity. So my x velocity, to find the x velocity, that is the resultant, which is 15, times the cosine of my angle, which is 30. And that equals 12.99 meters per second. So my x velocity is 12.99. So now to find my y velocity, that's my resultant, so that's 15, times the sine of 30 so that is 7.5 meters per second so I'll put that over here. my y velocity is 7.5 meters per second so this velocity is 7.5 this velocity is 12.99 so I'm going to need those two to calculate what's next so let me the first thing I want to do let me redraw my path. I want to get to the top of my path because if I can get to the top I can calculate everything else. Well to get to the top I need my vertical so that's my y velocity so I need that. So how long does it take for the projectile to get to the top? So I'm going to use my v is equal to gt. So my velocity is 7.5 and that is equal to 9.8 times time. So my time is equal to 7.5 divided by 0.98 which gives me 7, 0.77 seconds. Now the other thing that I know to be true is that my time up equals my time down. So if it takes 0.7 seconds to get to the top it's going to take one point or double 1.77, so it's going to take 1.54 seconds to get all the way across. So now I have a time of 1.54 seconds. So let's put that up here. Time is equal to 1.54 seconds. So to find my horizontal range, well, I just use my constant formula, and that's just this one right here. There's no acceleration in that. So my x velocity is 12.99 dx and my time is 1.54. So my x distance is going to be 20 meters. So now all I have to do, let's move this to 20 meters. It won't stay there. There we go. 20 meters. I'm going to fire. And there you can see we hit the bullseye. So when you're working a problem like this, break your vectors down, find your x and your y. Remember to use your y velocity anytime you're using gravity because that is your vertical. And then use your constant formula, which is your Vx is equal to dx over t. Let's, let's just go back to it. Use this one once you find it because this is constant. Remember, time is the deciding factor. Time is scalar, so it has no direction. So the time it takes for a projectile to move up is equal to the time it takes for it to move down. And it's also equal to the time it takes for it to move horizontally. So use this FET simulation, uh, change your parameters, change your angle, change your speed, 
find the target, do this three or four times, and you'll get a really good grasp of how to work a problem of a projectile launch at an angle.